everybody, welcome back to Natasha, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what's inside my survival bag, so let's get started. But before I do this, I want to kind of want to give you guys why I've not been posting. I've not been posting this week because I've been busy. I think I posted like Tuesday, I think, and I said my schedule. I, I said I would try to post a video. If I didn't, I'll post two videos. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get in two videos tonight. I may do three videos. But, I'm hoping to do a challenge video. I'm just hoping. I'm trying to do a room tour, but my room is messy and uh, my room's not finished building yet. My desk needs to get cleaned. So yeah, basically this video is about what's in my survival book bag. Basically what happens in my survival book bag is... Is... I hate my hair. Looks like, as you can see, it's poofy. So basically what happened with my survival book bag, my brother took it and he emptied it out. And he just took all the survival stuff out and just put it on my dresser. I'm kind of mad with that, but I can just brush it off. At least I still have my survival stuff. At least I still. I don't know where my flashlight went, but there was a flashlight in there. There was a flashlight. I can't wait to see it. We bring it to our camp. Because sometimes the power goes out. Or for like two minutes or something. Or we're in the woods. We need a flashlight. Or we're just telling ghost stories and we need a flashlight. Or, or we needed to walk them down the hill because we always have a fire and s'mores at the bottom of the hill and the, we have to run up to the top of the hill to get like drinks and s'mores and s'more stuff and the camp is on the top of the hill so we have to run up there and run back there and trip over stuff so that's why we got a flashlight but anyways let's get on with the actual video so the first thing I have in my survival book bag thingy I'm not going to call it a bag I'm just going to call it a survival kit I'm gonna look through all this stuff. I don't have my first aid kit. Where'd it go? There was a flashlight and a first aid kit in there because, of course, and it had like little stuff in there like bandages and germ pads and all good stuff. But the story now, I did have a flashlight, I did have a first aid kit, but my brother probably took it. But, anyways, let's get on with the stuff I do have with me. So first I was just going to say I have, you don't know how many times I tried to redo this video, like a thousand times, but the first thing I have in my survival kit is safety goggles. You never know when a girl's going to need safety goggles. Next we have a plastic drop cloth track. Ooh. I know what my other thing was. Oh, sorry. I needed something. Come on, let's get this way. Okay. So, yeah, I have this. So it's really cool. Okay. 
Ein Teil. It's getting very hot in here. And most of the stuff I don't have actually. Yeah, one emergency not punch. A drop spot. Next I have a little zip lock baggie. Which has like a little thing that the doctors use like that. It goes around your head and your ears. I also have a emergency blanket, reflect body heat back to body. I also have a prolate sick. It's a green sick light stick. I also have this one. So that's my lip balm bag. The next thing is a drinking water thing. You put water in it and you put it like that. I think you put it like this. Like, and you put it in your water. It has a tab and like. Like, it has a duct tape around it. You open the tab and it seems to fill the water. Uh, well, you're gonna have to untape the duct tape though. So, yeah. Next, I have some gloves to keep your hands protected. I have some duct tape that also are keeping open. I'm, I want to try one. But it's scary. These are emergency. It's a bar. I want to try that. I want to see how it looks like. If I can get that going. Because if it's not, I'm scared. I can't open it. Next, I have emergency drinking water that you fill in the little drinking water thing. First 24 hours, do not drink in any water. Only if injured or sick. Through, through after, through after, use two bags per person each day. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, six. So, if there were six people. We will take two for Billy. So that's one person. Two for Janice. That's two person. Three for I meant another two for another two for Bob. And there's no more water left for the other three people. 
I just say you bring a water cooler. Bing. Unless somebody's trying to kill you, you want to make sure you have a car and make sure it starts. Okay. Last but not least, we have a personal safety safety emergency pack. It has shelter weather, one emergency poncho, one one emergency blanket, two hand warmers, one emergency drinking water, signaling, one light stick, one muscle with neck cord, one customizer kit brochure, one one hand sanitizer pack, germ protection, two exam quality vinny gloves, one and one and ninety five mask, two germ Germicol, germital, germit, germicaldo, whatever, wipes, kills germs, mini first aid kit that includes five adhesive plastic bandages, two adhesive fabric bandages, five junior adhesive plastic bandages, one fingertip fab fabric bandages, one knuckle fabric bandage, two BZK ads anti-stipic towels, one triple antibiotic ointment pack. And it says, be Red Cross ready. Get a kit, make a plan, be informed. The Red Cross can help you, you can help you prevent, prepare, for a response to emergencies, visit redcross.org. I'm not sure if I would want to open this. Maybe I should see if it includes all the stuff. So this is like all the stuff that's supposed to be in the survival book bag crammed in here how cool is that okay so i hope you guys enjoyed I dropped something but whatever hope you guys enjoy this video bye i gotta get to bed